gaming has always had these periods of time where companies love to get as much plastic in our home as possible. Let's never forget the days of Guitar Hero and Rock Band where you had the guitar, the drum set, and then later we got Toys to Life. Whether we talk about Skylanders or Disney's Infinity and all of the other projects that maybe they had a lot of potential, but ultimately it kind of died down. I think a lot of us ended up having a whole lot of plastic. And in my case, somebody that loves the Wii U and I've had a chance to play games like Skylander Swap Force. I always thought those games had a lot of potential, but the problem was it was so expensive because you had to get the game and not just the starter pack, but then every single thing else out there. But hey, everybody. Juan here, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am super, super excited because as I continue to get uh, more things for my Wii U collection, check out what just arrived home. We got the Scalander's Supercharger Starter Pack featuring this guy right here because yes, uh, Scalander's originally started with a very popular character from platformers, Spyro, but then with uh, the uh, Nintendo side of things, they did a couple of things with exclusive characters and I got this on eBay people complete in box brand new never opened before for a very very low price so in this video we are going to be opening up this bad boy it may be uh, somewhat painful for some as well as opening up some other toys and i'm going to be giving my overall first impressions about this game because i've never played supercharger so if you like what i do make sure to subscribe give me that thumbs up go down to the comment section and let me know have you played any uh, Toys to Life game, and if so, let me know your favorite. I got this on eBay for just 20 bucks with free shipping. Historically, the lowest price for this has been about uh, $15 at clearance, so not so bad considering that they shipped this to Puerto Rico for free shipping. What's different about other ones is that this one, for better or worse, is vehicle-based. So this starter pack comes with a land vehicle, but I also ordered on eBay a C and sky vehicle and hypothetically you can play the whole game but then you can supercharge right because that, that, that's how they get the money from you right you want to have the perfect combination at an additional cost so if you put donkey kong inside his specific vehicle he gets supercharged but all of the other are previous you can see right here all skylanders uh, from spyro's adventure giants swap force trap team and uh, uh, superchargers works with uh, this game and you can see a little bit of everything now let's open it up right here it should be brand new uh, you can see uh, this is breaking the seal and I know that some people may be asking Juan why did you buy brand new only to open it up it's because it was actually cheaper some of the uh, like new or good condition ones were 40 so it was still cheaper oh yeah I do want to try and salvage the box, even though I, I tore that there just a little bit. Let's try to not break anything. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, I don't want to ruin the box, but I am going to throw it. That made a big sound. <laughs> so we have, uh, ooh, okay, don't break, uh oh. I always struggle with these things because I'm so afraid of breaking them. Oh, the wheels freaking move. That is awesome, it's like a, Super expensive Hot Wheels. So this is uh, the Donkey Kong vehicle. Check it out. Very, very high quality. Wow. I've heard that uh, these are some of the best toys to life as far as the build quality because some of these actually move. So even offline, you can uh, if, uh, if you have a child or something and you want them to destroy it, you can have somebody actually play it. This is technically the second time I have this Skylander, although it is a different model because there's different variations, much like anything else that they want to get you uh, to pour more money into. Man, look look at that quality. Let's appreciate the weapon. Nothing, I mean, it moves, but it'll probably break if I move it a whole lot. This is the part that is uh, very cool. G give me a second, give me a second. I'm seriously struggling with this right now. So check this out. You can see the pad has a lot of detail. And yeah, this is definitely brand new. You can see that everything, no dust, so excellent condition. Check out these uh, nice sides here, giving off this uh, icy vibe, if you will. And what's interesting is that, to my knowledge, the PS3, Wii U, and PS4 pads are interchangeable. So hypothetically, you could buy the Wii U version of this game or Swap Force or the other ones, and you can use that same uh, pad to which you put the toys on there with another one of those two consoles, right? So PS3, PS4, or Wii U. 
Uh, Xbox is uh, proprietary, so they don't work interchangeably with other ones as well as Wii, because yeah, there's actually a Wii version of this, not just a uh, Wii U. Here we have the game. It is not sealed, which is interesting. I'm assuming it just came like that. Anybody that's gotten this brand new, let me know. All right, just to double check, because it is a little weird that it is, uh, well, let, let's just double check something. Can you imagine that it's all scratched up or something? It's like, psych, no, this is brand new. Check out that quality and my wife's camera. I'm actually using this iPhone, her iPhone for the top camera and damn, the quality is really good. I'm using that Epoch camera, Epoch cam, whatever the hell app on, on PC. Ooh. We, we got trading cards? I'm assuming this is where they get you. Exactly, they put all of the different things that you can conveniently purchase. Not gonna open it up completely, but there it is. The, the barrel is a struggle for me right now. Let's take everything out. So we have that, the battle cast, instruction manual. Guess what, you plug it in via USB. Not, not too complicated. Here is the Donkey Kong uh, Amiibo. Apparently this is actually an Amiibo. I've heard that it doesn't work like other amiibo specifically not sure what they mean by that not the best looking amiibo i don't like the fact that we finally have donkey kong in another type of game right we haven't had like a 3d platformer in a very long time since donkey kong 64 we have had a, a tropical freeze and games like that but here we have him here so you can actually attack but then the outfit and everything and the positioning leaves a little bit to be desired at least for me uh so let me know what you think about it well th that is frightening <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awful. The eyes are missing a little bit of detail there, but honestly, not gonna really uh, complain about that too much. I guess I'll open this? Oh, these look pretty cool. Okay, a Spitfire Scalander. Nitro Blast, deal 40 damage. How do these work? Oh, I should read this. Use these cards to bring your Scalanders to life in a whole new way. I got that for $20, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to experience this pretty well. I will probably stream uh, some of this on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash MrMRPlayerJuan and uh, check it out right here. I got this complete inbox, brand new, 10 bucks. And uh, this right here was going for 450 uh, individually, I meant to say. Check out the other one. That is the uh, water-based one. Because apparently there's like racing modes and all that stuff. We'll take a better look at that later. But then check out this bottom one here. And uh, I am going to open it up once again. Maybe somewhat painful for others, but... Toys are meant to be played. Can we just can we just talk about that for a second? So I'm not going to feel bad about what I am doing. That is the purpose of these toys, people. You bring them to life, but you can't bring them to life inside a plastic box. So let's do this. This is uh, Meet Astro Blast. And here we have his uh, vehicle, the Sun Runner, and then the Sky Trophy, which apparently unlocks a few stages for racing. And let's open up the C Pack. And uh, if you've played this, let me know which other ones I should definitely get because like I mentioned, many of these ran for 20, 25 bucks when they first came out. Now they are half price, if not less. Take it out of the plastic, as one of my favorite YouTube channels says. Let's let them breathe, people. Let's let them breathe. Here we have uh, Gil Grunt, Deep Dive Gil Grunt. So another Skylander that I have, but this is a, a variation of him. The detail, very nice detail. I love this. Uh, oh, he's got like a jetpack. Let me actually take him out so we can better appreciate that. Huh, I like that. Notice that. He's actually flying up high in the sky. And then I love how this uh, vehicle looks. What's it called? It is the Reef Ripper. The Reef Ripper. Oh, look at that. That's a little, that's a nice attention to detail. Okay, this is pretty, pretty damn cool. I like how shiny it is. I don't think he actually fits in there. Actually, I'm assuming you just put them side by side. You don't actually like stack them up. Uh, there and then we have the C trophy right there. This is a lovely look and this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this one. So now that we've opened up these different things about superchargers, I'm going to put the disc on my Wii U, play it for a little while, get a, a pretty good sense of the gameplay, the visual aesthetics and everything like that. And then I'm going to give you my overall first impressions, not by any accounts, a full on review, uh, because maybe in the future I'll get the disc for the PS3 or PS4 version so I can also compare those as well. I had played Swap Force on the PS4, so putting in superchargers on my Wii U, I have to say that my overall experience so far has not been that different, but really, that is in no way a bad thing. 
See, I know it's easy to poke fun at these games because of the whole Toys to Life thing. They want to get all that money out of your pocket, but once you actually get to the game, sure, you are going to be limited in a couple of different places that you need a specific combination of Skylanders to progress, but putting that to the side and focusing on the graphics, the gameplay, the music, the overall experience in the game, it's really good. Even though these games are mainly made for kids, something I really like is that when you go into the menu, you have four difficulty options, and it doesn't just limit itself to the actual difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the higher overall experience you'll get as you play the game. And that's really nice because every single Skylander, you can level them up, acquire different abilities, and something that just absolutely blew me away because I hadn't even really thought about this. So I have played with many of my Swap 4 Skylanders on PS4, and playing this one, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll take a break from Donkey Kong. I put one of them in, I see them wearing the same hat that they had on my PS4 version of the game. So something incredible here is that you can grind a Skylander on one game and transfer them to another one, and it's not tied to the actual console. Now we're talking about a game on the Wii U, but it's also available on the PS4. And having played Swap Force there, and now jumping uh, into this one, it is very blurry. Now don't get me wrong, it's a visually stunning game. I mean, the attention to detail, it's like you're uh, in a Pixar movie. Every single character from the dialogue to the facial animation to the overall world, they really do an incredible job at just making you feel acclimated to each environment. But because we're playing the version on the Wii U, it is very blurry. I, I don't know what the resolution is, if it's natively 720p. Honestly, I don't even think it's that. It has got to be lower because even when you go into the menu, the characters just don't look great. You kind of get adjusted to the experience, but if you want a, a version with higher visual fidelity, definitely get the one on the PS4, but this one, not bad, all things considered. Now let's talk about the reason why I got this version on the Wii U. So we have a Donkey Kong, we have his uh, land automobile there, and playing as him, it, it's so damn cool because really, it is like an unofficial Donkey Kong Country game where he can also just like straight up beat people up because it's an action platformer. You can get different abilities and some of them even have things like the bongo. I haven't uh, unlocked him so far, but one of his final abilities, Diddy Kong actually becomes like a, like a support for him. And that is just awesome. Even though he's a little bit on the slow side, and I do like other Skylanders, there's just something incredible about playing as Donkey Kong on a non-Nintendo game, and it actually works. Now, the overall gameplay loop is very similar than all the other ones. The key difference here is the vehicle-based parts of the game. So we have land, sea, and air. Looking at multiple reviews, I was afraid that it was gonna feel very gimmicky, and I'm not gonna lie, it does. I was having fun with it. Don't go into this thinking that you're gonna get the best racing game. They kind of tack this on to everything else about the game, but playing this, and I'm currently up to chapter eight, there is one part where I'm on water, and I had to press a button to dive, and then go up and down and collect different things, and the overall concept I thought was very enjoyable. And the same thing applies to when you're flying in the air. Sure, it doesn't feel uh, incredible, Incredible, but it breaks the monotony of just walking around the world, doing a couple of puzzles. Oddly enough, I think the least enjoyable parts are the land-based ones, which uh, hypothetically, that is that is like the easiest thing to get done because each one is very different. Some of them felt like subway surfers where you just uh, tapped a little bit on the joystick and he would move between these specific lanes. Other ones, you have a lot more leeway. Others are based more on actual battle. And in another one, I felt like I was controlling an RC car and it's just like, okay, I, I kind of get what you're doing. You want to give me a lot of variety, but I think the best way to explain my concern about this part would be less is more. You already have three different things based on vehicles, so don't overdo it. And something that broke my heart, so I go to the menus and it says online co-op people. I'm like, what? I've, I've talked about Ninja Gaiden 3, uh, Razor's Edge, and the fact that that one has online co-op and it is still online, but sadly, that is not the case for this game. But anybody that did have a chance to play this, uh, I feel like maybe two people did because I had no idea this was even an option. I went into this thinking I was gonna play maybe uh, 30 minutes to an hour and then give my brief first impressions, but I decided to go live on Twitch. I played there for like two hours. I played about two more hours offline. And the fact that as I'm talking about this, I'm just thinking, I cannot wait to go back. 
grind out a couple of characters, maybe even buy other Skylanders to continue with the experience. Because with the vehicle based ones, you do have elements that you need to get to specific parts of the game for bonuses, nothing too fancy. But I'm enjoying it so much that I, I don't even have a problem at getting more if they're available at a good price. But I gotta say, it's Skylander Superchargers, whether we're talking about the one on the Wii U and the PS4 and all the other ones, which I have to assume have got to look better. I am loving my time with it so far. So that was my unboxing for the Skylanders Supercharger Starter Pack in addition to the uh, Sky and the Sea Packs that I also got on eBay. And hopefully you appreciated uh, that little bit of gameplay and that first impression. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. In my case, I do think the Wii U version of things like this that are multi-plat look a little bit blurry as I mentioned, but I think it's a pretty enjoyable experience. These are very gimmicky things, right? Uh, Toys to Life, to my knowledge, is no longer a thing. It'll probably become a thing as uh, we get things like augmented reality. You can also kind of look at what uh, Mario and Nintendo, what they're doing with uh, the Mario Kart live circuit, I think it's called, where it's uh, toys, it's toy cars, but it's a full-fledged game. And I, and I like that a lot more because we've tried the whole thing with Labo. I bought Labo. I was not a big fan of it. But I think things like this have a lot of potential. And as time goes by, I actually do want to get a little bit deeper into Skylanders. But if you enjoyed this uh, video, make sure to subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. Consider following my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash MrMRPlayer1. And up until next time, thank you for watching and supporting. And take care, everybody.